Hey Internet, welcome to another episode of Mr. Ford's Guide to the a Certification Exam. In this series, we're going to take a look at microprocessing. Hey, and welcome back. Hopefully you've enjoyed the other videos in this series on the a Certification Exam. In this chapter, we're going to take a look at CPUs. And what we're going to try to do here is we're going to cover the objectives that you need to know for both the IT Strata exam, the Strata IT Fundamentals exam, as well as the newer a exam, the 901 certification exam. What I'd like to do here is I want to give you an outline of the videos that are going to be in this series, specifically on the CPU series. So that way they'll be listed in the description. So if you are watching these as they're being released, by the way, every Tuesday we're releasing new technology videos. Or if you see this down the road, once this entire chapter is done, you'll be able to click on the links in the description below. Also, they'll be in the playlist. So that will hopefully be convenient for you all out there. And also, by the way, don't forget to click that subscribe button and the like if you learned something. Anyhow, here's the outline of this chapter. The first one is the Welcome to CPU series, which is what this video is. Then we're going to follow it up with CPU basics. In this one, we're going to take a look at the functions of the CPU and how the CPU works. Then we'll have a video just on the buses that you find within the CPU. We'll take a look at speeds, how speeds are calculated, what we're talking about when we're talking about speeds with CPUs. Then we'll take a look at the cache, both the size and the types of cache. Then we'll take a look at 32 versus 64-bit computing. Then we'll take a look at virtualization followed by a look at the current Intel CPUs, and these are all separate videos, by the way, the current Intel CPUs, the current AMD CPUs, the different types of sockets that you need to be aware of for the exam, the buying and installing CPUs video. That should be a fun one. That's actually what we, that's what us geeks like, right? We want to know how to buy and install the good stuff. And then we'll talk about CPU cooling. And finally, we'll wrap it up by looking at troubleshooting the CPUs. Now, before we end this video, I want to talk about briefly the rabbit hole. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. What I mean by this is that it's always a juggling act when you're developing trainings on how deep into the rabbit hole you go. Because there is a lot of stuff that we just don't cover because it, it's just too much stuff. And there's stuff that you need to know as a beginning tech. And then there's stuff that you'll learn on the job as you get more and more information as you progress in your career. So this video series is designed to get you your first job and get you certified. And then once you get in the job, believe me, the learning curve is huge. You're going to learn a whole bunch of stuff. If, however, you want to know a lot more about CPUs than we go into, I highly recommend, and I've talked about this in another video, this book right here. There we go. It's the Upgrading and Repairing PCs. I just bought my new edition. This is the 22nd edition. Uh, Scott Moeller, hopefully that's how he pronounces his last name. I know how to pronounce his first name. Uh, this is an amazing book. I mean, look how thick this book. This thing is humongous. It's a tome. It's not a book. And it's got all sorts of information here as far as, you know, how how far down the... This goes all the way down the rabbit hole. So anyhow, that's going to conclude this video. The next video, we're going to take a look at the basics of CPU. Be sure to click that subscribe button. It helps us get our channel out there. Click that like button. And until later, have fun studying out there. And goodbye for now.